Okay, so today I want to continue building my shelter, my stealth camp. And yeah, it doesn't look so stealthy right now because I'm still in the construction process. But first I have to build the structure and then I'm going to do the camouflage. So it's going to take a while until it really looks stealthy. Okay, now I need to remove a little bit of the bark of the shingles because I need some space for the poles. I don't want to have some ticks in my neck. Okay. So I really like this technique, the patoning over the shoulder technique. It's super easy. And if you don't have a second person who holds the pole for you, you can just lay it onto your shoulder. Sometimes it hurts, especially when there's a branch sticking into your shoulder. So make sure that you clean off the stick first. I'm not used to this anymore, so I feel my joints. Oh. That's okay. One more stick and then I can build the wall. This one is too rotten. I don't want to take this one. Okay, I'm going to fell this tree here because it's dead. And you can see it because the bark is coming off. Okay, so I'm going to fell this tree. And you can see it doesn't have any needles anymore. And a lot of people have actually problems with distinguishing dead trees from alive trees. So this here would be an example of a live tree. You see some needles and the bark is still smooth. So this one 
I don't want to cut down because it's alive. So we are going to take this one here. And this one is already dead so you can't kill the tree anymore. taking the whole log with me because I don't know how long it needs to be. Let's see. Okay, I think that's good now. Good. Now let's start build the wall. Okay. So this is a really long pole, which I want to use first on the ground. Okay, now I want to use some paracord and secure the wall before I fill up the sticks, the poles inside of the wall. And yeah, I say that the rule for this shelter is natural materials only. And I really want to use natural materials, but also I want to have this very secure string. Because when it comes to the safety of this shelter, this is really necessary to make it as safe as possible. And yeah, if you don't have the string, this cordage, the paracord, then you can use some roots from the spruce tree. But the roots from the spruce tree are not holding as long. Like when they are getting dry, they will break. And I definitely don't want the shelter to fall on my head. And this is why I'm using this paracord here. I know it's not a natural material, but safety goes first. And when it comes to my safety, I don't make compromises anymore. So paracord it is and this is what I'm going to use for this wall.
a deer just bumped into my shelter. Like, it was only 10 meters away from me. Oh my God, I got scared. Ah, I'm taking this out because this is my patoning stick. And it's really great because it has this awesome curve. So I throw this into the shelter and keep it. Okay. I've seen some log over there, which is really thick. This is good enough for the walls. You don't need the best wood for a wall. Look at this here. This is all pine resin. Ah, I'm sorry, it's spruce resin because it's a spruce tree. And I'm going to cut this part off here because this will burn really well. And I want to have this chunk of wood for my fireplace. So I'm going to cut it off here. Now, I feel that I'm getting a little bit exhausted and that's why I'm going to take a small break now. And actually, when I think about my past, I only hurt myself when I was either tired or when I was trying to, you know, speed up things, like doing things really fast. And that's when I would cut myself either with the knife or even with a handsaw and yeah. I'm not doing that anymore, so I'm going to take my time. I'm going to relax when I have to. Yeah, not hurting yourself is the most important thing in life, okay? Not only in a survival situation, but also every day. That's good. Okay, here we have our new wall. It's beautiful. Really nice. And here at the other side, I put a very thick pole underneath the ridge pole, as you can see. It shifted a little bit, see? So I have to bring this back now. This is so heavy. I think you would die 
if this would collapse on your head. Okay. Wow. That was heavy. I'm glad that I saw this here. So finally I have my new wall and I really like it. I have to camouflage the entire shelter so now it's well visible. But next time I'm going to do some camouflage on the wall and also on the roofing and I have to repair the roofing. And now I really have to think about the next step that I want to make. I think I'm going to build a ring around the shelter. So a ring of walls, yeah. So I want to, to make a little bit of a wind protection and maybe I'm going to build a second shelter, which would be really awesome. But I don't know if I'm going to build it here or over there, where the camera is standing right now. So yeah, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. And if you are interested in this knife here, it's my self-designed survival knife, the APO one. And you can find it on my website. The link is in the description below. And there you will find all of the specs. And yeah, I would be very happy if you would support my channel by buying one of these knives. That would be really awesome. Anyway, so um, if you want to see more videos of me building the shelter here, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel and maybe also hit the notification bell because sometimes people won't get notified of my uploads. So please make sure that you check your subscription status and hit the notification bell. And then you should receive all of my videos. Maybe. <laughs> I really want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.